to my channel or if you are new here for the first time, then hello, welcome. In today's video, I am bringing you our half bath renovation. We just recently completed this and I couldn't be happier with the way that it turned out. I will be bringing you guys along, showing you what we started with, the before, showing you the during, and also the after. I will be linking as many things as I can in the description box down below. I will also be letting you know exactly how much this makeover cost. Now, obviously, when you are doing big renovations or makeovers in your house, you want to set a budget on how much you want to spend. The thing that I recommend before you get started on any project in your home is to create a vision or mood board. In doing this, you can see what all of the colors are going to look like together. So that is what I did. We picked out our vanity, a paint color, made sure all of those went well together before we actually got started. And then we went and purchased everything. So I hope that you guys are excited for this video. If you do like seeing DIYs, let me know in the comments down below, along with what you think of how our bathroom came out. If you are not already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me over on Instagram. The link is always in the description box down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Starting off, I wanted to share with you a before shot of our half bathroom that we are going to be making over today. I will be sharing with you how much we spent on this bathroom reno, and I'll be linking as much as I can in the description box down below. Now, as you can see, this is very builder grade, not very custom looking at all, and definitely was not our style. So the first thing we're gonna do is completely rip out the pedestal sink and the toilet, and next we are going to take off the mirror. After doing this, you will be left with some drywall repair to be done, and this is pretty simple. My husband has done this before, and as long as you get the right texture, it isn't very complicated. Once we have everything out of the bathroom, I'm going to start painting the walls. We are using Sherwin-Williams Pewter Green. It is a color of the year, and we couldn't be happier with the way that this color looks. We find it easier to paint the wall before we get started with our board and batten. For the board and batten, we are going up about five feet on the wall, and then we are going to be using one by three common boards that we picked up from Home Depot. I will have them linked down below for you if you'd like to get the exact ones that we used. Now we are getting started with our board and batten. We are using our new laser level that we got for Christmas from my parents and it was seriously the most amazing thing to use. I'm so grateful and happy that my parents got this for us. It'll be such a game changer for our future projects. When doing any kind of accent wall, you're going to want to make sure to figure out all of the measurements before you get started. My husband is really good at this and thankfully so because I am not good at math whatsoever. So he is always in charge of figuring all of that out. So hopefully you guys are good at math or your significant other is. Now we made a mistake here by starting to paint these boards before we caulked. So my husband ended up having to go back in after the fact and then I had to repaint everything. So again, when you're doing DIYs at home, you're going to make mistakes and learn from those mistakes, which is the best part about doing DIYs. So you'll see my husband come in and start caulking after this and then we will just paint right over it. Using caulk in any accent wall is going to make it look really finished and like it's always been a part of the wall. It's one of the most important steps when doing this. The total cost for the board and batten supplies and the paint was $130. This was our second most expensive thing for this project, but again, it makes such a huge difference having a more custom look into your home with adding accent walls. 
Now I'm heading over to the kitchen to start using this rub and buff to our toilet paper holder and our towel holder. We did not want to spend the money on new ones and this was the perfect way to save money and use what we had. I got this rub and buff from Hobby Lobby and you can use this on so many things around your house. You guys will have to let me know if you've tried it in the comments down below. After my husband puts our toilet back, we are going to bring in our beautiful new vanity from Lowe's. I could not be happier with this vanity and I love the way that it looks against this beatiful green color that we picked for the board and batten. One of the first things we did when designing this bathroom was picking out a paint color. Once we picked out this pewter green color, I knew that I wanted to add brass accents into this bathroom. I've been slowly trying to add brass accents in our home to warm it up a little bit and I've been really loving it. Here you can see my husband fitting in our backsplash to the vanity right underneath our board and batten, which he did such a good job at measuring. It took him a little bit to get it in, but it was the perfect fit. Once you have this in, you're going to want to take some bathroom caulk and seal that in. Now this is different than the caulk we used for the board and batten. This is waterproof to make sure that there's not going to be any liquid getting through there. This vanity from Lowe's came up to $300. Now it is a little more expensive on their website and when you go into their store, but we do get 10% off when we shop at Lowe's, so that is why we were able to get it a little cheaper. Now for the faucet, we got this from Amazon. It was $60 and we absolutely love it. The installation was pretty easy. Now the vanity and our piping that we already had in our house was a little bit difficult. My husband ended up having to cut into our vanity a little bit more, but in the end, it ended up working out. This is such an affordable faucet and everything else that we found was well over $100 to $200. While my husband finishes up the faucet installation, I'm going to hang this beautiful art piece that we got from Target. I'm going to be using the tape trick. If you have never heard of this, it is such a lifesaver. All you need is some painter's tape. You're going to put that across and mark the two sections of where the nails need to be. Take this back over to where you're going to hang the piece of art. Once I get that onto the wall, I'm going to take a level to make sure that it is level on the wall. Once I have that on there, I'm going to take my two nails, put them on there, and then you can go ahead and hang your piece of artwork. We did also get a new lighting fixture from Lowe's and that came up to $90. I was not able to record that part because obviously we did not have any light in this bathroom and there was no natural sunlight coming in. So unfortunately I could not record any of that. But again, if you are working with electricity, make sure that you have all of the power turned off. And if you don't know how to properly do it, hire a professional. Next up, my husband is going to hang our new wood floating shelf that we got from Target. These are the only two things that we picked up decor wise for this bathroom that we didn't already have. So the wall canvas and the floating shelf came to a total of $70 and they are both from Target. We had originally ordered a gold arched mirror on Amazon. It was over $100 and we ended up going to Home Goods and found this beautiful gold arched mirror for $49.99. So we ended up canceling the order from Amazon and we're so happy that we did because we were able to save quite a bit of money there. I will link the original one we are going to use from Amazon because unfortunately I will not be able to link this exact one that I got from Home Goods. 
Now this little pot has been very popular over on my Instagram and unfortunately I cannot link it. I did DIY this. I found it at Hobby Lobby for $3 on sale and I brought it home and painted it. I love the way that it turned out and these beautiful Cosmos are also from Hobby Lobby. They are some of the most popular stems for springtime and they will be linked down below for you. This is my favorite part of any project we do is starting to add decor pieces back in and really getting to show off my style. I'll try to link as much as I can, like I said, in the description box down below for you if you are interested in anything you see in today's video. This whole entire bathroom renovation came to right at $700, which in my opinion is a pretty great price for renovating a whole entire bathroom. But again, when you're doing any kind of project, make sure to create a budget before getting started. And here is the final reveal of our half bathroom makeover. I hope that you guys enjoy it as much as I do. You will have to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you have to say. That is going to conclude this video. I want to thank you guys so much for being here and watching today's video. If you have not already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel down below and follow me over on Instagram. I can't wait to hear what you have to say about this makeover and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.